Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And it's time for another daily dose of dismal Disney. We're going to talk about Mary Poppins being too problematic for the UK. They have to increase its rating, of course. That means it's going to be a triple X version of Mary Poppins. No, that's not how that means. They're going to pop means. in Mary Poppins. No, that's not, that's not <laughs> what that means. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> but we're going to we're going to talk about this cuz uh apparently there are things that were put in this movie from the 1960s that are considered problematic in current year Britain. There's like like one thing and it's discriminatory language. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the part where uh, uh Bert calls Mary the C word. Yeah, no. That, that's, that's always bothered me. I, I don't, <laughs> like, where does he get off? That didn't happen. Like, no, supercalifragilisticexpialidocious now means something else, according to Twitter. It is. Um, no, um, that's not what happened either, I'm saying. Yeah, it, it turns out it's the it's name. It's an outright dog whistle. <laughs> it's the name of some tribe or something that sounds very similar to, and they're very upset, all five of them. No, yeah, yeah it's, it's like, it was a derogatory, yeah, we're going to talk about it. It's a derogatory, like, name for something, and then... Years later, apparently they're mad about it now. Yeah, we'll we'll talk about they this. They could have cut it easily. They could have cut it. They they cut other stuff. We're gonna talk about that. Just how censor happy Disney has become in the this UK. Is long. The UK is is uh, crazy too when it comes to things that are now offensive in, in current year. And we'll we'll talk about that. Apparently, even saying the most qualified person should get the job is a microaggression. Uh, everything's a microaggression. That's why I think they're so angry about J.K. Rowling because she's a walking microaggression to these people. So let's uh, let's talk about all this before we get into it any further. Please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! If you're looking for an audio version of Clownfish TV, go out to Spotify, Amazon, iTunes, wherever you find high class podcasts and you'll find ours too. I don't know why we're there, but uh, we do have an audio <laughs> version and uh, we're bringing our other podcasts back. d is coming back. Pirates and Princesses is coming back. Uh, so make sure that you go out and subscribe. New episodes are coming your way. All right. Let's talk about this. This is uh, on Variety. Mary Poppins age rating increased in the UK due to discriminatory language. So the they age should have pulled it out of theater or not theaters, but off of all their streaming services because they should. There shouldn't be an age limit on discriminatory language. I know, right? L look at look at them riding their horses. PETA would be very, very angry with them. Yeah, they spell you know they're, yeah, even their carousel horses, apparently that's still a problem. It's still a problem. So the age rating for the 1964 Mary Poppins has increased on Friday. The British Board of Film Classification up the Disney movie cinema rating from you which was basically our version of like G to PG for discriminatory language. Now get this. This is, this is why Mary Poppins is a problem in a statement to variety. A BBFC spokesperson said that the film includes two uses of the discriminatory term hot and tots. Okay. What the fuck is a hot and tot? Apparently it's something bad. Well, Mary Poppins. Sounds like, it sounds like a pedo term, but that's just me. Oh my God. Can't wait to learn That's his username. So they're, so they're hot. They're getting hot. The hot and tots are older. Oh my God. That's, that's his username. It's like, mom, some guy's texting me. His name's hot and tots. Uh, I told him I was over 10 and he wasn't interested. <laughs> um, anyway, while Mary Poppins has a historical context, the use of discriminatory language is not condemned and ultimately exceeds our guidelines for acceptable language at you. We therefore classified the film PG for discriminatory language. The word is a racially insensitive term for the cocoa. Oh my God, I was kidding about being indigenous people. No. But there it is. So apparently the Coco, Coho, Coco, I don't know. I'm probably mispronouncing it and they're going to cancel us. It's in there. It's the Coco, Coco. Okay. Well, they're an indigenous group in South Africa. So the BBC further explained that the word is. that was BBFC. Oh, the B. I'm sorry. Same thing, basically. The BBFC, FDFGFT. It sounds made up. This sounds like a Monty Python skit. The BBFC further explained that the word is used in the film by Admiral Boom, including when referring to the chimney sweeps whose faces are covered in soot. He calls them hot and tots. Now, this, this article is from like four or five years ago. Again, nobody mentioned this before until the last couple of years when we had a bunch of overly sensitive activists take over 
every major publication, every online publication, and they decided that, uh, yeah, Mary Poppins has been getting away with a lot lately, hasn't she? That bitch. Um, yeah, that they were flirting with blackface in you know the 1960s. They were had their faces were black because they were chimney sweeps and they were covered in soot. It'd be weirder if they were up and down the chimneys, not to be confused with the the, the, the triple X-rated version of Mary Poppins. And they were up and down those chimneys, and they came out completely clean. I mean, you'd be a little concerned, like. Well, don't they have a commercial like that over in Japan or something, or China? Like well, there was one where they put, it was awful, they put like that. It was, yeah, yeah, like, oh my God. Um, so apparently in the book, now I haven't, I haven't read the books, right? Apparently in the books, um, a housemaid screams, don't you touch me, you black heathen, when they've got soot all over their face. Uh, as a chimney but that's in the book. It's not in the movie. That's in the book. It wasn't in the movie. Uh, when he tries to approach the cook, she threatens to quit. If that hot and tot goes into the chimney, I shall go out the door, she says, using an archaic slur for black South Africans that recurs on page and screen. They only use it a couple times in the movie and not in that. Oh, wait, it was in the movie, but not in the book, or it was in the book, not in the movie? It was in mostly in the book. They, I they used say, it like... I don't remember that. Yeah, apparently it was in the book. Um... Yeah, so in, in the 1964 film, they uh, replay the racial panic in a farcical key. When the dark figures of the chimney sweeps step in time on a roof, a naval buffoon, Admiral Boom shouts, we're being attacked by hot and tots. Well, that's because they're playing it as a joke because he's an idiot. Like Nobody current year knows what that means except for those who people who are offended in South Africa, about, I guess. What were you mad about but around Halloween and you weren't allowed to spook. say Spook. You weren't spook. allowed to say spook right, or spooky. Right, right. Even though I think of CIA when I think of spook. Um, well, yeah, they said the naval buffoon, he's played for an idiot, yes. is one who makes the comment. This, this, they, they do realize that Mary Poppins takes place like in the 1800s, right? Like it's, I mean, I, I hate to break I hate to be the one to break it to you, but they weren't as progressive in the 1800s. <laughs> you know, they weren't no, as they weren't culturally progressive sensitive. in 1964 either. But, but, right. But the thing is, it wasn't meant to be anything other than the fact that they were, I mean, they could have taken that whole thing out. Like they didn't need to have that, the Admiral Boom made the comment at all, but, um, it, the, 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 face, the fact that they have, they have they have the black in on their face is because they're chimney sweeps. Yes. Not because they're doing blackface at all. Um, <sighs> they probably shouldn't have put that comment in it, but most people they went over people's heads. Most people didn't get it. Or it was a different time then. But that's not, I don't think, enough to make it PG because most people are like, what the hell's a hot and tot? I didn't know what a hot and tot was. I think was. It's, a, it's probably something over over there more than over here. But possibly, yeah. I don't. I Maybe don't it's even. It's common over there. I don't know. It's well, not over here. Okay, so this is how Universal cashes in. They start a they start a tater tot stand and they call it hot and tots. Um, <laughs> cash in on this. I wonder now. This this sounds kind of crazy, but given how Disney is, they're re theming Splash Mountain to Princess and the Frog. Did they not build the Mary Poppins attraction that they said they were going to build because of this? It sounds crazy, but there are. Yeah, I think it's because of money. Okay, well, it's Let's it was just a merry-go-round, wasn't it? Just a, a merry-go-round or something? It wasn't. It wasn't that big of a, a deal. They were going to build a, a cheap ride in the UK pavilion in Epcot for Mary Poppins. They made a big deal about, it and then it just disappeared. No, it was going to be a carousel, and it's, it disappeared because of money. It disappeared because of pandemic, and they were they went away with like the. Um, the pavilion, the festival pavilion, and a bunch of other stuff. It just, it just it was a cost cutting measure. But yeah, no. So apparently, they, the, the part in the books it was mentioned a lot. So apparently, the author really had a problem with those people. <laughs> so uh, yeah. So the, apparently, the the book was so controversial it was banned from the San Francisco Public oh, Library. San Francisco, shocker. Probably, probably along with Harry Potter as well. And then they were talking about Uncle Remus and uh, they're talking about uh, Winnie the Pooh and how problematic these things are because everything current year is – we're all offended for – for uh, from uh, books that were written ages the ago. The about the Uncle Remus stories is the fact that it's actually – by banning it, it's regressive, not progressive because a lot of people don't equate the stories, the Br'er stories – or bear fox, bear rabbit, bear bear. They don't equate those things to racism. They're just like fables and fairy tales that they've always heard. And in a way, it's like it's like a racing. In order to preserve, you know, this this idea that you're doing something, you're erasing history, black history to 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 
stop it? I don't understand. I, it doesn't know, make any sense. It's so weird because a lot of the people that were the most upset that that Disney was purging the Uncle Remus characters from the park were black folks. Southern black folks are like, we, we grew up listening to these stories. It, it, and your quest to be progressive, you're being really, really regressive and you're deleting important things that shouldn't be deleted. But that's not the case with Mary Poppins thing. That's just, that, those are throwing lines you didn't even put in. You could just take them out. Well, don't worry. I'm sure they will because Disney has a tendency to uh, overcorrect. We'll talk about some of their changes here. But well, because they did it in the UK, now it'll be done over here too because it'll be like, I'm sure, <sighs> like, oh my God, this, this, this phrase we've never heard before was offensive like 70, 80 years ago. Oh my God. Oh my God. At least it's not hot in thoughts because that makes all the, the e-girls yes. feel very uncomfortable. The hot um, and thoughts bring all the e-girls to the yard. The hot and thoughts. So the Daily Mail had this. This was uh, yesterday or day before. They said the most qualified person should get the job is now a microaggression, according to Britain's top universities. It sounds crazy over there. I am I am glad. Uh, no offense to our, our UK viewers, but um, this is scary how, how crazy things are getting over there. Uh, yeah, you're not allowed to say the most qualified person for the job is – the most qualified person it, for the job. How was it a microaggression? The university suggested the statement meant that some people only got their job to tick a box or fill a quota. Well, I, that, okay. Some people do, though. Not yes. everybody. Not. I won't be very right. clear. So not everybody. The most qualified but, person for the job got the job is a microaggression because it meant some people only got their job to tick off. Well, I, why would it? If you weren't doing that, that wouldn't be the go-to. Like, I would think whoever was the most qualified person got the job. I wouldn't think, oh, it's because of a, they, they, you know, it meant some people got their job because of a, uh, you know, to fill a quota. I wouldn't have thought that. The fact that that that's what you think is a microaggression that you have to clarify makes me think that you were hiring people based on that, and that's why you're trying to take it, you know, to, to undo that now. You know what I'm saying? Like you're making right. it a microaggression now because you were doing that and you're pissed that people are saying it. Other examples of microaggression include using the phrases like using phrases like men and women have equal opportunities for achievement and positive action is racist. Affirm that would be affirmative action here in the US. Um, well, a lot of people that are, that are black argue it as racist, but that's another story. Entirely. Because, well, I, I'm not going to argue either way because I'm not, but. So we've got this one guy, Dr. Edward uh, Skidelsky, who's saying that uh, it's actually an assault on free speech. He said, by campaigning against questioning and denial, these universities are advocating an uncritical acceptance of statements in the various undefined areas they refer to. Um, yeah, it's undermining a culture of free inquiry, basically freedom of speech. You're not allowed to say what you actually think. You have to go along with whatever is current year, just like 1984. Well, here, yeah, Chris McGovern campaign for real education said it was seen that the woke virus has infected universities in a major way. Sorry, I'm just quoting. It is cowardly. Why are you apologizing? Like the word. It's become part of the it's lexicon now. Like Elon Musk is even using it. Universities you know? are supposed to show their intelligence and reason, and they are displaying their intelligence and reason in order to pursue the woke agenda. The woke agenda. That's going to be a movie. Just weird. You can't That's going to be a movie someday. Like it's because I think people don't know what else to call it. But I think I think in that whole term, and this this video is not even about that, but just briefly, like I think it's it's overused. In a lot of cases, but I think we need to d decide like what it actually is because just because something is more progressive doesn't necessarily mean it's woke. Uh, but uh, not everything that's woke is actually progressive. In a lot of cases, it's regressive. That's my personal opinion. I got all kinds of shit on Twitter for that. I'm just like, yeah, because you can you can basically be like, oh, I'm trying so hard to look progressive that I'm actually racist. I'm actually, you know what I'm saying? Well, I'm just saying it's stupid. It <laughs> is it's stupid. Like, it's, it's, like, it's, it, you, it's a microaggression to say you're hiring the best qualified person. No, that's just that's just what you should do. What if what if the most qualified person is a uh, uh, black lesbian in a wheelchair? What if that, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I mean, I think that, and then I would always wonder, that if there was like a quota that needed to be met, I would always wonder myself, like, or am I just here because they have to, you know, tick off a checkbox or something and, oh, hey, you just happened to show up today. And this is what happened in Hollywood. This is why so many of these movies are failing because a lot of people that were not qualified to be working on multi-million dollar, $200 million movies were put in charge just because they happened to show up and they happened to hit those checkboxes and then it came off the rails. You know, yeah, it's you know, but um, let's go to the Disney list, which makes more sense. I mean, instead of talking about that stuff that's not relevant, yeah, we kind of took a detour here. So, D Disney Plus, they actually have a censored a censorship wiki, censorship.fandom.com, 
and they have a list of all the things that Disney has censored on Disney Plus. And it's a long damn list. Like we've heard of a couple of these. We know that they put uh, content warnings on Peter Pan and Dumbo and some of their older movies because you know they got racial stereotypes or whatever. But the 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 number of changes are insane. The Goofy movie has changes. They they tone the sexuality down in the Goofy movie. Yeah, because I got Plus. that's all I got from that was basic porn. They had a racial slur in All Hail the King. Apparently, Hot and Tots was uttered. Uh, why can't they just do that with Mary Poppins? Like you said, why can't they do that? The film's TV edit is used instead, complete with toned down profanity for adventures and babysitting. Uh, they toned down the violence and shield. <laughs> Aladdin. Sorry. Yeah. Three lines were censored in the movie. Two of the edits already exist on the DVDs. Uh, that, that was a whole thing. That was the first time I think that people knew that Disney would buckle to this kind of pressure. Cause I remember that when Aladdin was released in the theaters, uh, some of the lines in the opening song Robin Williams, they thought that they were racist, so they changed them for the DVD and the, the VHS. I don't know where changed before, like Darby O'Gill and stuff, but I'm just saying, it's just like, there's a list. No, this one's really interesting. I wondered how they were going to uh, handle Andy Mack. All episodes with Henry Mack were banned due to his actor being convicted for sexual offenses and being fired from Disney. So they just like wiped... Well, basically, they wiped out most of the show. That's like half the show. He was in like every other episode. He was the grandfather father, spoiler, but now he doesn't exist. That's freaking weird. But then they also toned down the, the one character's homosexuality, so go figure. But yeah, let's talk about let's talk about Mary Poppins. So apparently they haven't made any changes to uh, Mary Poppins yet. Not over here, or over there. I'm sure they will. Well, right now they haven't changed it. They're just putting a warning or like they're putting a rating on it. They haven't changed it yet. But oh, give them might. time. They will. Yeah, but they I'm will. Saying, now that's in the media, they will. But now it's PG and not you. So it's PG instead of G. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, why don't you just, you know what? While you're at it, Disney, just burn your entire back catalog. Anything older than two years, just burn it. Just get rid of it. So are we going to be replacing Mary Poppins in the meet and greets because, you know, problematicness of, of you know, her, she had blackface after all. I know, right? Um. So they got to probably just eliminate her completely from the parks. Oh my God. I, I, you know what? That would not surprise me. It would not surprise me one bit if Disney overreacts. Cause anytime they get any, any kind of pushback on this sort of thing, they're like, Oh my God, you're right. Let's just tear down the attraction. Let's just get rid of all the music. Let's ban all the DVDs. Oh my God. We're horrible. We don't want to be horrible. I'm like, fuck. I'm like five people were complaining. We're going to wrap this up. Yep. All right, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. We'll talk later. Bye.